Hello everyone, welcome to 2D Board Gamers. My name is Dave and today we're going to continue my deck crafting series, this time protection. So the idea behind this deck is that you should be able to plug it into any hero and and it should work great. Um, this is utilizes something called the perfect defense. The idea behind it is that you take no damage and then you get some kind of rewards and there's lots of ways you can tweak it. This deck as is right now is a actual 41 card deck, but you know, that's pretty close to 40, but there's quite a few cards that I would recommend adding based on like if you're an X-Men or an Avenger, but we'll get to that. Um, so first we have is Brother Voodoo, who's a three cost ally, two thwart, two consequential, one attack with one consequential, three hit points. After Brother Voodoo enters play, search the top five cards of your deck for an event card and add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck. So that way you can get your hero events or the defense events that are in this deck. We got Clea. Clea costs two, one thwart, one attack, two hit points. But her power is when Clea is defeated, shuffle her back into your deck. We have Starhawk. Costs two, one thwart, two attack with two consequential, three hit points. When Starhawk takes damage exactly equal to his remaining hit points, return him to your hand. So this is, you could thwart with him once and then attack with him once, ideally, and you've got, uh, you, you know, you can put it back in your hand. Or, of course, you know, defend with him if you need to. All right, then we have three copies of Desperate Defense which is a hero interrupt. When your hero defends against an attack, it gets plus two defense for that attack. And if you take no damage, you get to ready your hero. Uh, we have never back down, three copies. Um, when you defend against an attack, you get plus two defense for this attack. If you take no damage from this attack, stun the attacking enemy. So it doesn't work as nice if the villain is stalwart, of course, or even steady, but there you go. Uh, we have Angel's Airy, one cost support, response after you defend against an attack, place one fatigue counter here, remove each fatigue counter from here, heal one damage from your identity for each fatigue counter. Now, the idea behind this deck is to take no damage, but, you know, that's not going to always be the case, so that's what this is for, is so that you can eventually go down and heal a bunch. The Night Nurse, uh, she cost one. It's got three uses. Uh, exhaust a night nurse and remove one medical counter from her. Heal one damage from a hero and discard one status from her from it. So, you know, get rid of those stun and confuse. Armored vest, uh, one cost upgrade. Uh, your hero gets plus one defense. So I only have one in here right now, but if you um, play with other you know in multiplayer if the other players are defending then you might think about adding some extra armored vests in electrostatic armor play under any player's control after you defend against an attack deal one damage to the attacking character we got three copies of energy barrier so energy barrier has three uses when you would take any amount of damage, remove one reflection counter from here to prevent one damage and deal one damage to the enemy. This is a great way to kind of make sure you take no damage. We also have, I have one copy of force field generator, cost three. Uh, it's got six uses. When you would take any amount of damage, remove that many counters from here. Um, for each energy counter removed, prevent one damage. So you got you can only have one out at a uh, I only have one on here. Um, it's max ones per player. You can only have one out at a time, but I only have one in the deck because it's kind of spindy. But it's a nice way to keep from taking damage. Um, Nerves of Steel. So this is to pay for the defense events. Cost two. Play under any player's control. Exhaust Nerves of Steel to generate an energy resource for a defense event. Then we got unflappable, um, max uh, play under any player's control, max one per player. Um, after you defend against an attack and take no damage, exhaust unflappable and draw a card. And then we got the double resources. This is kind of typical here, crew quarters. 
So when you do have to go down, um, you can exhaust crew quarters, heal one damage from an alter ego. We get the helicarrier, which is exhaust the helicarrier, choose a player, reduce the cost of the next card that player plays by one. Downtime gives you plus two to your recovery stat. And endurance, which gives you plus three hit points. Okay. Now for some modifications. Um, my protection decks tend to be a little larger than the other ones, just kind of the nature of the beast. But you can remove and swap around. But if you're playing an Avenger, I definitely would recommend adding a Quinn Carrier because uh, you can exhaust a Quinn Carrier to generate a wild. If you're playing an X-Men, then you've got the X-Jet, uh, which is the same thing, exhaust the X-Jet, generate a wild resource for a player um, whose identity has the X-Men trait. And if you're playing X-Men, if you're doing all X-Men stuff, then we've got a huge series of X-Men supports that you could throw in, like the X-Mansion. Uh, it's an alter ego action. Heal one damage from a mutant or X-Men character. Any player whose alter ego has the mutant trait may trigger this ability. So that would that would be useful um another nice card would for x-men would be armor but you have to be an x-men to play it but she comes in with a toughness so that's a nice great way to to do some um defending and then uh so yeah so those are some tweaks that i would do to this specific deck there's obviously you can totally change things around if you're you know making uh, different decks but to utilize this decks those are some of the cards that i would i would think about including all right well uh thank you for watching please like and subscribe